Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me for the next episode of Zenith. We are by the... Well, we're by the dinosaurs, folks. I don't know why it's a thing, though. Hey, what's up? Okay. What are you doing, mister? You planning to start a stampede or something? Err, sorry. Don't know what got into me. Let's just leave him alone. What about you? What about you over here, huh? You want to play with me too? No? Let me pet your horns! No? Alright, that's fine. We cannot pet the Triceratops' horns, or the Traggle Rock Ceratoppers, or whatever it is. Horn. It's fine. Alright, anything else important to say? Excuse me, have you seen a girl with blue hair traveling nearby? Oh, yep, they went northwest, must be headed in the forest to the end, not much to do around here. Thank you. Before you leave, would you like to look for anybody interested in becoming a... Uh, nope. Alright, we read all this stuff before, so... Just want to make sure there wasn't anything extra to do. Aw, I can't jump off of there? Boo! No, I say boo! Alright, so that was an interesting diversion. Now... Onto something really amazing. I, I don't know. Now we're just gonna attempt to get to the place to the northwest. Which is gonna be weird because. Oh, I do have a compass. Cool. So they're over in this direction somewhere. All right, what do we have? What do we have? Only time. Will to All right. So the blue-haired gal and her friends should be here. Finally! Here's the inn. I really should keep moving toward the ruin, but I haven't slept since yesterday. I can't just walk around forever. There are some creepy things in that forest, and I'm too tired right now. Besides, I would be very surprised if they managed to get inside the ruin so fast. I will rest here for the night, and maybe I'll have a beer or two. Spend the night at the inn. Very creepy inn. Very creepy inn. Nothing to do over there. There's a billboard over here. The Forest Glump Inn. Curious name. Indeed. Alright, seems pretty straightforward. We just kind of go in. Yes, you've already mentioned this, please. Thank you. That's right. Please and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My P's and T's. The PT. And that paper towel, I, I got nothing. Oh, yeah. More music. What? Barkeep. Welcome to the Forest Glump Inn, my good sir. How can I help you? Hi, have you seen a group of people led by a blue-haired woman around here? Oh, certainly, sir. Your party is waiting upstairs. My party? They are not my party. My apologies, sir. Since they were all dressed in such strange outfits, I thought you were having a costume party. Well, that's quite understandable. I'll have a room for the night. That will be ten radiance, sir. You can pay in the morning. Your room is upstairs. I should keep an eye on that bunch. I might be able to spy on them from my room. First, we must dance. Alright, enough dancing. Sup, possibly old guy? I hope the homogeny is not really planning to restart the entombed conflict. We couldn't resist them even when we were an empire. That is a true statement. The Chancellor sure is great. The Phoenix Coalition wouldn't even exist without her. Do you know the story of the sacred elephant of Temperus? Nope. And I don't want to. Hey there! Nice scarf! Thank you. The Infinigon mages are all a bunch of maniacs. I do not doubt that for one single solitary second. It's a bar wench! Hello there, darling! What can I get for you? What can I get for you? All right, let's see here. Beer, rumors, supplies. Let's say rumors. Heard anything interesting? I heard Gellibrin. Gellibrin? Gellibrin's been... Gellibrin. 
Celebrants had been attacked by some hideous undead mage. They say it was a horrible monster that arose out of the graveyard. Don't make that face, sweetie. I don't think he's going to come here. And if he did, this place is full of adventurers eager to kick his butt. Well, that's good to know. Hmm. I better leave them alone. Not all works work for Grindo, but it's not a good idea to interrupt them while they eat. That's fair. Damn, an infinity gun mages have nearly destroyed the world. Maybe we allowed him to get into the coalition. They should have disappeared along with the Empire. You gotta enjoy that amazing... What in the world is up with her outfit? That is weird. My amazing uh, voice acting there was astounding, to be sure. Oh, I hope the Martini is, really not, is not really planning to restore... Yeah, yeah, we already heard that before. We don't need to hear it again. Alright, I'll stop. Pretty good dancers, I like them. What are you doing over here, buddy? I guess I know. Ugh. The piano man doesn't want to talk to me. Well? Is there anything I can loot as the, well, probable protagonist to the story? Nope. Hey, but we can see through the wall. That's kind of cool. I feel like I'm spying already. Or am I? Probably. Probably not. Alright, well, we did all that we could down here. Now we're gonna walk slowly to our room. Covered in blue lights, so we look very conspicuous. And now we're inconspicuous. You see how that works? Huh. It's locked. That's probably good. What do we have over here? Excuse me. Bug off, mister. Thank you. Excuse me. Bug off, mister. Well, you guys are both rude and obnoxious, and I don't like either one of you. It's locked. Hmm. Hey, it's my room. Shiny. Muffled voices. I can hear voices next door. I think it's them. Maybe I can spy on them somehow. Gotta love the music. Alright, well, I'm gonna use the saving uh, features of this savey thing here. And I'm gonna save in slot number trace, or three. Sorry about that, folks. As much as I'd like to, I must first find out what that bunch next door is up to. It's one of those days, guys and gals. I'm starting to fade down the back nine here. The, the, the stretch is starting to fade. I'm starting to be like, <laughs> but this is this is how I decided to revitalize myself. For those of you scoring at home, I really wanted to play this to kind of bring me back up. I have one more recording to do after this. I'm hoping I survive to get that through. Aha! Let's take a look. Tomorrow, we are going to try the door again. We are very close to recovering the scepter. The unexpected won't see that coming. Wait, would that be ironic? It would be ironic, wouldn't it? Like, before we continue, I, like, have something to tell you all about my past. You start going on about how you used to live in a city made of dreams again, I swear to Temperus that I'll hit you. Like, but it's true, I was famous, and then this floating giant whale thing came and uh, it destroyed everything. You really need to stop drinking that crap. No wonder your girlfriend left you. Whoa, Alana, don't be so stabby. You're spoiling the atmosphere here. Look. It was all right to hear about your tragic pasts, but for six times, we need to focus. We are going against the unexpected here. This is serious. Well, like, um, we are going to kick his butt. You'll see. That's, well, because this is our str Shut up! I heard you because you said you were adventurers. What do I get? An idiot, an ex-florist, and, uh, uh... Sorry, Claude. I don't even know much about you. My tragic past is pretty cool. Plus, it has a twist at the end. I used to be... A soldier! Ah! <laughs> Why did you yell that all of a sudden? 
Tell us your story, Claude. I'm dying to hear it. Ah, F this. I'm going downstairs for a wine or a glass of rat poison. Anything is better than this. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. That blue-haired girl, though. She looks somewhat more competent. I should have a chat with her, make sure to find out how she got this close. Let's go for the blue-haired girl, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can glean from her. Where are you? Alright, that's enough of that. And yeah, she is. We have found her. Hey there, can I have a seat? It depends. Will you start whining about your tragic past? Eh, my tragic past doesn't worry me much. It's tragic futures that we should all be concerned about. A funny one, huh? Well, a sure shirt beats the company upstairs. Sure, take a... Wait. You're... Yes. Yes, take a seat. It's good to see that you survived. Have a drink or something with me. My name is Alana. The music changed. I'm Argus Wendell. So, what brings you here, Alana? Oh, mine is such a sad story, mister. I'm sure you don't want to hear it. Sure I do. I don't have the same aversion for tragic past stories as you did a few seconds ago. You see, mister, I come from a poor family. We were peaceful people, minding our own business, when suddenly an evil witch cursed me. Huh. Just like that? Why would anyone do such a thing? Eh, envy? Uh, of my beauty? Or something? Really? Well, typical witch stuff. It was a female witch, right? Yeah, ones are also quite narcissistic. Well, I once got visited by that one. White hair. He was more interested in buying hair conditioner than actual potions. And, eh... Prophylactics. He bought quite a few as well. What? What? Uh, I mean, I, I don't... Uh, a woman. She was a woman, okay? In any case, she took away the thing I value most. My capacity to love. Who values that? Who even considers that a thing? That's like an inherent quality that you have. So, like... Eh, I don't know. Really? That's great! That, that That's honestly not the reaction I was hoping for. But of course, think of all the time you will save being able to focus on your career. No heartache, the world is your oyster. Eh, eh, anyway, the thing is, I need the scepter of judgment to lift the curse. But I have reasons to believe that a great mage hid it in a ruin in the mountains about three years ago, after the desperate stand. If I could only touch it, the curse would be lifted and I'd be able to love once again. It's a shame I cannot love, since you look exactly my type. You know? Am I now? You mean you might fall in love with me if you could lift your curse? Eh, most likely, you know, I've been feeling so lonely recently. Well, then it's your lucky day, for I am the mage who hid the scepter in the ruin. <gasps> you are? I am, and I'll take you there so you can use it to lift the curse. But only you alone. You know, I can't allow just anyone to reach the scepter. Thank you, powerful and handsome master. I can't wait to be able to love once again. I must rest now. We shall meet tomorrow at the entrance. Good night, Alana. Somehow I feel like I'm being played. I don't know. I think she's going to throw some serious salt to my G-A-M-E, I'm just saying. Poor girl. Well, got some work to do tomorrow, so I should get some sleep. I kind of want to steal stuff from this place, but I guess that's just not something I can do. Alright, it's nappy time. Why does he get to sleep? I'm the tired one. Jeez, man. You're a freaking mage. Mages don't need sleep. Finally, a warm bed after such a day. Pure bliss. Sorry. Sorry, real life sleeping. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. 
no, the Infinigon symbol is in the middle of the floor. Oh, crap. Will this be enough to hold it? I, I doubt it. What have we done? What is that thing? I don't have any idea either, Argus. Not even the Criterion. Not even she expected that. We must get out of here. But the others... You saw, you saw what happened to the others. We'll end up like them if we go back inside. Stay strong, friend. Let's go outside. We'll see how bad things are. Come on. What did I put? I don't want to. Eh, I better leave that seal alone. On my signal. Now! Did they just do the... I think there was some fusion going on there, guys. I don't know. Just saying. Definitely a little bit of fusion going on. Oh, that sounds very good. What the hell? Is that a portal? Unbelievable. It's like the one we found in those ruins. Our yes, it must have opened it. What are those creatures coming out of there? I don't know, but the army seems to be powerless against them. Well, let's go then. We need to close that thing. Well, you know how it was opened. How are we going to close it? Eh, let's not close it then. We can simply blow it up with the thomic thom projector. That monstrosity. Freck was the one. Was sorry. I'm looking around to see if anything's like cool gonna happen, but it doesn't look like it. Brecken was one of the minds behind that project. That means anything can happen. That's true. Can't hurt to try. Actually, it can. A lot. But I don't see any other way out of this, so let's do it. All right. Oddward. Anyone coming to give me hugs? I have a... Oh. Oh, good. He walked in front of me, so I got hit by... Get wrecked by my hammer of awesome. All right. That's a little underwhelming. I'm not going to lie. He's not impressed with the hammer of awesome. Ooh. Boom, and slaughtered. They look like fire guys, or just weird naked red guys, I guess. Alright, so we've gathered that up. That does not look like a good fight going on over there. My explosive barrel is gone. Well, it's kind of like Oh, get him, get him. Eh. Well, we're getting beat down pretty badly. We're not really trading blows effectively. Yeah, some gold coins there. We'll take that, I guess. Not sure what our uh, solution is going to be to this problem that we're faced with, but... We did at least make it over to this spot. Oh, that does not look good. Move! Move already, damn you! Brecca? Argus! Morty, what's going on? Is this a homogeny attack? No, it's something related to our project. What? The scepter? How? No time. We need to use the thematic projector to blow up the portal. And what do you think I'm trying to do? From where we stand, it looks like you were yelling at an elephant's backside. This lazy bum is carrying the ammo. I need to take it to the thematic projector so I can prepare it for firing. But he won't move. Let's see if a fireball up his backside motivates him. Seems like a really bad idea. There, I'm surprised you didn't resort to violence sooner, considering you're uh, developing a weapon of mass destruction. A weapon we are going to use to solve this mess you created. Oh yeah? Who convinced me to make this mess in the first place, eh? You two... Do you two really want to do this now? We'll discuss this later. Let's follow your method. Move your butt, elephant. Get to stepping. Ah, 
I will punch you in the knee. Or the ankle or wherever I'm hitting you. Well, it's taking us quite a while to get past this point. Come on, you can do it. Finally! Now what? Now we load the... Oh no. What? The mass anchor, it's, it's missing. Save your mecha, mecha, <laughs> mechanomagical uh, blabbering and give it to me straight. The center of mass used to accelerate the ammo, it's not here. Maybe they took it away to the forge for modifications. Where does that leave us? Well, we can't fire the projector without a mass anchor. It's a huge ball of steel. Yeah. Summon a chunk of rock to replace it. You were a mage last time I checked. It's not as easy as that. We can't put magically summoned material into the projector. It would cause a sequence of... Well, it would explode. Well, so what do we do? Don't tell me we did all this nonsense for nothing. I don't know. Give me a break. Guys? I have an idea. Oh god, he's going to use the elephant? General Schwartzwind, we can't hold them back on the portal. There are too many. We need to evacuate the royal family. Any word from the Emperor? No one has seen him since he took the scepter to the Infinigon building. Damn mages and their rituals, I bet this is all their fault. How could they do this? Why? I don't know, but you never know what's going to happen next when those maniacs are around. Oh, Lord in heaven, it is the elephant. I wasn't wrong. What in the name of... I can't believe we just loaded an elephant into the pinnacle of modern weaponry. Well, you wanted a big mass anchor, so I provided one. And it's working well, or working fine so far. Critical warning, unstable mass anchor. Is that supposed to happen? Since when does critical warning mean something is supposed to happen? Must be a safety protocol. Sure, there is an easy three-step protocol. That's good to know. What do we need to do? Duck, cover, and pray to Tempris. I surely can't be planning to... Oh, no. They are. They freaking are. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, we just destroyed the portal with an elephant cannon. Oh, why not? Well, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be done seeing about everything. <laughs> Shut up. I don't even want to know who or why, but the portal is closed. Use the time to find Princess Cinderia, Cinderia and uh, evacuate her move at once. Oh my god, this game is so good. Ugh, Brecca. So, um, the, the portal is closed. I'll be the first to admit that this did not quite go as expected, but we did save the city. We avoided a disaster. Not from the elephant's perspective. Eh, yeah, true, true. But I'm sure he's in mass anchor heaven right now, happy for having given his life for a greater good. Brecca. What? Uh, you and your insane ideas. Do you know how much effort it took to build this weapon? I should have known better than to listen to your stupid ruin, your, to a stupid ruin raider. Oh, here we go again. Mrs. Corporate Ladder and her heirs of grandeur. Calm down, you two. Besides, we had little choice in the matter, Brecca. Always a pragmatist. Uh, oh, gosh. Why does this make me worried? Oh, no. What? What is that? He... it... he... he was... he was the Emperor. What? He's doing something. Great observation, Rekka. Isn't her name Brecca? I swear it said Rekka, that's fine. Screw you! Heads up! Oh, he just casually opened a new... several... Few thousand portals apparently. Oh no. What did we bring into this world, Mordecai? I, I don't know. 
Well, it's all bad, is what we brought into this world. Whatever it is. It's not great. Oh! A freaking dragon. But we don't have the time to think about it now. Oh! Oh, it's here. No? Liar! It... It was the right thing to do. I have a feeling like we missed something here. Coward! You think it was easy? To carry this burden? Traitor! Huh. Well, that couldn't have been fun. I had no choice. <sighs> well, hmm. Focus, Argus. What's done is done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of done, we are done with this episode. Hope you guys had fun. Hopefully I wasn't too uh, underwhelming. I don't know, the last couple of things that I've done, I felt just a little bit off. Hopefully it's still okay and you guys are enjoying it. I promise I'll be back in full fashion tomorrow doing whatever crazy random thing I'm doing tomorrow. It should be fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. I will see you next time with more Zenith. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.